I would record the lectures, record the lectures. student starting my nursing journey via YouTube. This is my very first video and I've done all the pre-nursing prerequisites, taken the T's and I've been accepted into a program and start nursing school in one and a half weeks. So I am going to be documenting my journey and today's video is going to kick it off with how I got an A in anatomy and physiology. I have a couple notes written down here. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> I have a couple notes written down here to keep me on track. First advice is using the website Rate My Professor. Rate My Professor is um, a website that allows you to search your school, the subject you're taking, and allow you to see all the professors teaching that course. This will make or break your how smooth it goes because it's so cool it gives five or five stars to professors that are a one like people would say I would take them again I love them they were so helpful easy a or just little notes that makes you think oh let me take them you're like let me go that way then there's the professors that have one star and it's like run do not take them <laughs> So basically, like, I use that all throughout my prerequisites, and it at least gave me some a sense of security um, and control of, okay, well, I chose this person to teach me this course, and um, I have no reason to not do well because I did all I can in my control that to choose someone that will teach it well. Another tip is to go to the professor's office hours once you choose that professor and start that class office hours are a time set aside away from lecture and lab that um, allow you to basically meet with the professor if you have questions if you're confused if you need an extra like um lecture you basically can get that right now due to the pandemic i know in my school they will still have them but it's going to be via zoom like Zoom tutoring, video chat um, meetings with them. Also, get one to three phone numbers, email, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, however you move, of your classmates. This will help you tremendously when you're stuck, you don't understand something, you're confused, you need some support to vent, because trust me, you'll be venting like, how did you get that wrong too? I thought, th didn't they teach us this? It becomes really cool to have a couple people that you can contact right away that will respond and help you get through that like question or hard time you're having while taking these courses. Once you start taking exams, I recommend getting some earplugs. When I took anatomy and physio, it was in person, but with the pandemic happening, a lot of people are at home and definitely are having a lot of distractions around them children maybe pets siblings you know just not a quiet place to study and we're gonna have to take our exams on um line through zoom which is what i'll be doing right here at this desk and it allows you to plug these in your ears and you can just focus on that exam like you don't have to get off track every time you hear something so i think this will this is a really good tip to get some type of <clears throat> something to block your hearing for anatomy um lab i did get this book um it's an atlas this is anatomy and physiology so it came in handy for both and it basically um for lab it's practicum so you're gonna look at a picture and let's do this next page for the sake of this video so these are the cranial nerves so you're going to look at this picture and have to know a couple of the things on there. And when you have your practicum, so basically these orange highlighted parts are what I needed to know. And you're going to look at the picture and you're going to basically have to write it down and know what it is. So the way I studied for lab is I used these plastic sheets. So you can purchase these. They're like little paper protectors 
And as you can see, I've used them. They have writing all over it. And I would put some of the Atlas blank things inside the paper sheet. So like for example, we were um, told to remember cranial nerves. So here's like a, what it looks like. They give you a list of a bunch of things to know. Nervous system specifically for this one. So the cranial nerves you had to know and basically I would get a blank sheet, the plastic sheet. And for example, on this side, it has all the cranial nerves and a picture of it. And on the other side, it was a blank picture in the plastic sheet with lines attached. And I would use my handy dandy Expo markers. I'm like an Expo marker fanatic. Like they help me so much. And I would put it on there, write the answer, erase it, rewrite it, erase it, rewrite it, erase it. Anatomy is all about repetition. Here's another example, integumentary system. So skin, nails, accessories of the skin. So they would give us a list of stuff to know. And then I would find the picture with a lot of the things in it, blank with lines, put it in a plastic sheet and practice. It ended up becoming like a whole notebook of these. And I would just flip through them and write, erase, move to the next one and keep going. And that basically mimics um, the practicum, which is how you take your exams for um, lab in anatomy. So I really, really recommend doing that. Um, that will help, especially with this pandemic going on, because a lot of people aren't going to be in person. I don't know how they're going to do that with those hands on models, which we used to touch and everyone would share. I think this is really good. If you get your atlas, find a page with all your all the things you need to know put it in a plastic sheet and and just keep practicing over and over and wiping it off and practicing you can also use quizlet um, that's what i would do when i took anatomy and physio um, take a picture in person and put the picture i would uh subscribe to quizlet plus which is like a two dollar a month membership that allows you to use pictures and put the picture on it and on and then use a flashcard method to study it flip it on the back and it has the name of that picture whatever that item is pointing to i will go ahead and link my quizlet in the bio so that and the website to quizlet so you guys can get that resource as well for lecture um we got powerpoints so basically um i would always print out the schedule of the lecture oops <laughs> I would print out the schedule of the lecture and write, cross it out as we went through the things, which was so, 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 so satisfying. I loved doing that. So a tip that I would recommend is if you are learning through PowerPoints, print out the PowerPoint, black and white if you want to save money, or color if you really, really like um, a visual learner, because there's a lot of pictures and models in anatomy. and. A thing I learned over the time is these lectures could be like 80 slides long. So basically, there would be so, so much. And I was printing one slide per page. Waste of time. Waste of space. So over time, I edited the printer settings and made two slides per page. And eventually ended up with doing four to six slides per page which allowed me to maximize the size of the print, the paper, and I could still get all my notes in, as you can see. You can see the slide coming up, the slide before, and you still have space to go follow along and write your notes. There's some color on here. I would um, use my G2 pens. I love, love, love these pens. Um, and use them, like, for example, if the professor's like, this is gonna be on the exam, red. And I would like write somewhere in red. Pay attention to this. This is a definition you need to remember. Blue. I'm confused. Brown. Like I would utilize this to make my notes a lot more fun and easy to basically work with. I would record the lectures. Record the lectures. In the beginning I used a recorder. I'll put the link in the bio um, from Walmart. But then I ended up basically using my voice memo on my iPhone. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. And I would just bring my phone, 
press the record when my professor started talking and literally record the whole lecture so that when I went home, I could take this, re-listen to it, and rewrite it onto like a notebook. So basically now I've heard and redone the lecture two times. And between those two, I basically felt like I knew the information enough. What I would do is if I was still confused, I would utilize the YouTube page Crash Course, which I'll link in my bio, and search up the topic we were currently lecturing on, and basically watch a YouTube video or use other YouTube videos to solidify something that I'm really, really confused on. On to physiology. Physiology was definitely a different way of learning. Like, you have to know the process. It's not just knowing or memorizing what, you, what you're looking at. It's very, this connects to this, connects to this. My professor did not use PowerPoints. She used a projector. So for her lectures, she used a projector, which I hadn't been taught through a projector since like elementary school, I believe like fourth grade. Where she had the clear sheet, she would have her book, the, like, the book open and just literally choose points from the chapter and write and it would project onto the board. So a lot of people use their laptops, that's one tip that I would recommend. A lot of people can type really quickly and just keep up. Um, I started off using my notebook, but I just didn't like the feeling of it. I don't know, something about it. So what I ended up doing was I purchased a whiteboard, a portable whiteboard. This was like a game changer. So I had my whiteboard and I had my expo markers and I got to town. Just like her, she used actually expo markers as well on the projector. So I would follow along with her write my note, write the um, whatever she was writing, take a picture and wipe it off. Mind you, I'm also recording this lecture. So when I would go home, I would re-listen to the lecture on my voice memo and then transfer it from whiteboard to my mirror. Yes, you heard that right. My mirror in my room. I have sliding mirrors and my professor actually recommended it. It's whiteboard on steroids if you think about it. It wipes off, you can clean it off, and you can use Expo Marker. If you have your bathroom mirror, any type of large mirror, it helps. So I would re-listen and look at my phone, my pictures that I took from this, and translate it onto the mirror. Then, because physio was so hard, I literally had to re-listen to the lecture like two times because it was just so much information. I would trans transfer my lectures on the, from the mirror to jumbo flashcards. I would literally use jumbo flashcards and basically that created somewhat of a PowerPoint because now at this point I could literally flip through and just have my my notes. And I really really recommend using jumbo flashcards. I cannot even use smaller flashcards anymore because I literally don't even think it's possible. I love using all my space when it comes to these. I also at times would hole punch the corner of these flashcards and utilize these finder rings to keep it all together and flip through it. Flip, 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 literally golden. So basically for physio, it was um, a different way that I had to teach myself. I didn't start off with a good grade in physio. Actually, my first exam, I think I got like a C minus. So I was like freaking out because there's only four exams, but she literally told me you're going to have to just change your study method. And I finally ended up learning what to do. Those are my tips and tricks when it comes to anatomy and physiology. Um, get yourself organized, get a planner or a calendar to write out all your due dates. Um, because there's a lot of, with lecture and lab, balancing the two, it could be kind of overwhelming um, but you can definitely do it don't give up if you're a pre-nursing student you can do this if you're a nursing student about to start along with me we got this let's do this stay positive work hard and make it happen thank you so so much for tuning in and i'll see you on my next one